Hello everyone, I hope that you are doing well. This is me, Sayesh Jatula. Welcome to Achievers Academy. Today, we will be discussing the very important, obviously it is very important why? because we are dealing with third chapter of economic survey and in this particular, okay, in this particular chapter, we are going to learn about the budget related some topics and also the very, very important uh, data with regard to revenue growth, with regard to expenditure growth so on and so forth so basically if you are done with your indian economy so you know that very well that budget in a very broad parlance okay we call it as what public finance okay public finance nothing but what does it mean public ante kada government government ela finance chestadi all the important activities ante asara pension scheme aina sare Shadi Mubarak scheme and SRA, infrastructure development, uh, all these, uh, how government of uh, Telangana or India will finance. So, we are going to see, <coughs> sorry, Telangana related complete data, which is there in the chapter 3 of, okay, Telangana Economic Survey 2022. Let us begin now. So, what is public finance? Public finance deals with management of government money, okay, with regard to the collection. Okay, how the government is getting the money, managing that various sources of uh, revenues and doing the expenditure, doing the expenditure. That is called as what? Public finance. 15th Finance Commission, according to this commission, 15th Finance Commission has said that, as you are aware of this fact, that fiscal deficit is very, very bad for the economy. Me could tell Swedi already. Okay, ante oka state ki like a poteko country ki revenues takwa unai ante vache di amount takwa on the can expenditures ekwa on a pudu ilanti situation if it gets more worse inka worse ga ite ila three time less is the four time less if this goes like this then what will happen the economy will collapse any antaru and this particular thing you might have already learned in your Indian economy why fiscal deficit is bad ever enemy good cheptaru for sure. Right, this is clear for you. That's why e revenue inka expenditure madhya lo gap pidda ga itla undadu less than. Okay, over a period of time, this should decrease. Over a period of time, this should decrease. Okay, and obviously one point of time revenue mana ko inta ondi anta expenditure manam cheyali means uh, whenever mana dekra when revenues are less and expenditures are more, what we'll do? We'll take loans more. So loans avoid chase koali and majorly whatever mana expenditures a expenditures mana kunte okay that expenditure has to be financed from our revenues only not more than that loans equities code right so you might be aware of this particular concept according to 15th finance commission fiscal deficit every state has to come down to what four percent of gsdp by 2021 to 2022 and by 2020 5 to 2026 means after this in 5 years the fiscal deficit should come down to 3 percent this is very 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 important okay yes this is fine now please remember they may ask you in the examination with regard to this uh, the targets that has been mentioned by about finance commission now let us see our government revenues very very important again government revenues let us see government whatever the receipt the government will get Okay, I will not tell you what is revenue receipts, what is capital receipts. You might be aware of this fact. Okay, revenue receipts, according to our economic survey, are tax revenues, non tax revenues, transfers, grant from the government, and capital receipts are borrowings and debt repayments. So, whatever the Telangana government has given in the economic survey, that you have to mug up. So, revenue receipts, the aim examples, which are capital receipt no what what examples uh, the telangana economic survey has given that is must you have to buy heart okay if you see the revenues of the telangana from highest to lowest maximum amount of money equa double government ki state owned tax revenues nunchi vastunnai and second important source of revenue to the government of telangana is central taxes nunchi manaku share central government uh, istundi a share then Central grants, then state-owned non-tax revenues. 
state owned non tax revenues so this is the qualitative study we have done we understood that okay they may ask you in the examination which one of the following is the highest source of revenue to the telangana government at aichi 1 2 3 4 options ivachu so your answer will be state owned tax revenues is the highest contributor to telangana revenues ila meeru cheppali now you can see here state owned tax revenues telangana is having out of the total money of the if the total money of the telangana government is 100 percent 65.18 percent nearly almost like 65 percent of this money is coming from telangana own tax revenues then 16.7 percent this blue one remember this point blue is uh, indicated as telangana so that's why i am taking blue only the yellow one you don't need to study that will not come in the examination when you are done with uh, telangana then you can do with india so we will not discuss the yellow one if you want to study you can study by yourself but we will definitely discuss about telangana okay right so the highest revenue that is like 65 percent of the revenues the government of telangana is getting from its own tax resources followed by sharing central taxes 16.7 percent this two percentage you should know in your examination okay you have to buy hard this if you are not by hard in this two that is also okay if you are annoying only chronological order this is important but with regard to the percentages only this and this is important see and the third rank it what central gains constitute 9.48 percent of total revenues and state own non-tax non-tax this is sad tax this is non-tax so remember this point state owned tax revenues are 8.62 right okay yes we have learned about it The state government budgeted revenue receives how much? Uh, 176,127 crores. Okay, that much of okay revenue receives government of Telangana is expecting in what? 2021, 2022. And government of Telangana is expecting that capital receipt they will get around 45,000 crores. So in the examination, if you get the question that revenue receipts are more than capital receipts of Telangana means wrong because revenue receipts are only <coughs> sorry <coughs> that is right revenue receipts are more than capital receipt because revenue receipts are 1 lakh 75 76 thousand crore whereas capital receipts are very very less 45 thousand crores so you can expect that capital receipts okay revenue receipts are three times 3x times more than what capital receipt okay note to during 2017 to 20 within revenue receipt state owned revenues okay accounted for 73.8 percent means if we take all the three years from 2017 to 20 these three years then state owned tax revenues are accounted for 73.8 percent you might be meku koncham anipistundemo sir 2017 nunchi three years enduku teeskuntunnaru 2014 nunchi enduku teeskovaledu enduku teeskovaledu ante rbi em cheppindante oka state ki healthy position okay a uh, uh, state healthy ga unda leda fiscal management low financial management low adi kanuku valante we have to see the 3 years data ani rbi cheppindi anduke manaku 3 years data diskuntunnaru vellu okay so 2017 to 20 telangana government is having what the tax revenues up to own tax revenues up to 73.8% of the total revenues that they are getting means it means what <coughs> maname ekwa double raise cheskoni and the schemes manam implement ches kuntu na mani maata ante inti central government nunchi anta manam help raavat leedu okay basically mana administration manchi ga ches koni okay mana policies manchi ga ches koni mana taxation system ki inka manchi ga streamline ches koni maname ekwa raise ches kuntu mana scheme c programs ki infrastructure ki development ches kuntu na mani maata that is what the Dalangana government is trying to tell here okay note 3 the state owned tax revenues constitute 65.18 percent of revenue receipts which is significantly higher than india's average so in india if you take the average of all states average of all states if you take the revenue receipts are on an average every state is getting what 50 percent you can see 48.9 percent but telangana is having 65 it means when compared to other state we are raising more money okay from our own state than the rest of the India. Okay. Note 4. Average per capita revenue means per person how much is how much he is giving to the government. Per person how much he is giving to the government. So average per capita revenue is 26,393. So, so 
on an average in telangana every year if i do some like uh, if i don't wear helmet and i have to pay 100 rupees in the uh, yeah, what as a fine if i drive triple riding i have to pay again for that purpose right if i violate some traffic rules i have to pay right and if uh, i want to apply for a caste certificate or marriage marriage certificate or any certificate then i have to pay some amount of money to the government or not yes like that on an average on an average in our state every individual is spending around 26,393 rupees from 2017 to 2020. It is second highest among the Indian state. Okay. Then note why within state-owned tax revenue, the average value added tax and excise revenue for this three are significantly higher than the other Indian general state. GS means general states. Okay. Remember this point here? Whatever the in our Telangana Economic Survey, only 14 to 15 states are considered. Not all 28 states are not considered because these uh, GS general states are what the, the government of uh, this RBI and the government is having data only for these states only, not for all these states. So we have to compare with them only, right? So that's why we will use this Indian GS states, means general states and the big states. Anni unnai ani mata, Mali, Goa, Sikkim, Arunachal Pradesh. Ki inka data generate avale do. That's why we are not comparing with that because data is not there. Whatever the data is there, with that we are comparing, right? So Telangana lo value added tax NSRA, excise duty NSRA. Okay, is giving lot of revenue to the Telangana government. Okay, and it is higher than India's average. Indian states low on in all other Indian state governments. Okay, the excise and value added tax are generating very less income. But in Telangana, we are generating more income. If why this all is good with regard to Telangana? Telangana ki anni manchigan endu kaitunayante mana tax inspector manchiga proper collect chestunarandi. Collection of tax revenues by its commercial tax department. Okay, the officers are doing a wonderful job, and because of them only, and officers are doing a wonderful job. Okay, taxes manche collect chase kuni government treasury fill chase sunarani mata. They, with their complete hard work, they have nearly doubled the commercial, uh, they have nearly doubled the tax revenues, which was only 27,000 crore in okay 2015. Now we are having what 52,000 crore is there in 2020 to 21, 21. So you can see that how better our tax department is working here. If you see the chronological order of taxes contribution in the descending order percentage wise, VAT contribute highest to the state followed by SGST, followed by excise, followed by stamps and registration, followed by motor vehicle tax. MVT is nothing but motor vehicle tax. Please remember the chronological order. In the first two key percentage kuda miru pet kuali. Remembrance chayari. Growth rate use kunte. Growth rate and last time kante e time low a e tax low echo growth in the mata. Okay, growth rate use contain descending order SGST and VAT together they jumped a lot. Okay, chala growth in the stamps and registration, uh, registration second and excise duty third, MVT fourth. Okay, this is very easy because this is different. This is it with regard to the contribution and in terms of value, VAT is contributing a lot followed by gst in terms of growth rate ante a tax lo ekko double grow ayindi ante 100 became 150 or 100 became 120 so what is the tax which has grown okay much better when compared to the previous year in sgst and vat together followed by stamps and registration then excise and mvt both are different please make sure that this is growth this is in terms of value now tax to dgp gdp gsdp ratio if a country or if a state is doing well ante their tax to G gsdp ratio or tax to gdp ratio will increase okay ante mottam gsdp lo gross state domestic product lo tax okay suppose gross state domestic product 100 crores und ankonde okay taxation 20 crores und ankonde it means what our tax is 20% of gsdp or not yes right so if it increases it means what government revenues will increase more it is a better indication why because people are paying the taxes properly the business units are doing very less tax evasion so that is why okay the tax is increasing with respect to overall gsdp that is what one of the 
sorry one of the important indicator of a healthy economy of a particular state or a country so sotr 7.7.40 percent it is contributing in the gsdp whatever the gsdp value is there in that value okay seven percent of that value is coming from state owned tax revenues then followed by sgst and vat followed by excise stamps and registration and mbt so on and so forth please go through them everything is important here then what is tax buoyancy tax buoyancy is nothing but uh, you can see here responsiveness of tax revenues to gsdp okay means uh, when our gsdp is growing when our gsdp is growing okay then are our taxes are growing the revenues from the taxes are growing or not growing this is important right or wrong fine this is what is called as very important tax buoyancy buoyancy unda leda ante enti mana gsdp grow aitundi gsdp grow aithe tax kuda grow aitunnaya idi chusukovali ఇది జిఎస్డిపి టెన్ పర్సెంట్ గ్రో అయింది అనుకోండి లాస్ట్ ఇయర్ కంటే ట్యాక్స్ రెవెన్యూస్ కూడా టెన్ పర్సెంట్ గ్రో అవ్వాలి కదా ఎస్ ఇలా సిచ్యువేషన్ ఉన్నప్పుడు లేకపోతే నైన్ పర్సెంట్ అలా సిచ్యువేషన్ ఉన్నప్పుడు కూడా పర్వాలేదు దిస్ ఇస్ కాల్ ఎస్ బాట్ ట్యాక్స్ బయాండ్ గా ఉంది బయాండ్ అంటే జిడిపి ఫ్లోట్ అయితే పైకి ఓకే ట్యాక్స్ ఆల్సో విల్ ఇంక్రీజ్ లైక్ దాట్ ఇఫ్ దిస్ సిచ్యువేషన్ ఈస్ నాట్ దేర్ మీన్స్ యు ఆర్ డూయింగ్ బ్యాడ్ అంటే స్టేట్ ఈస్ డూయింగ్ బ్యాడ్ ద కంట్రీ ఈస్ డూయింగ్ బ్యాడ్ అనమాట ఓకే as the economy grows the state revenue should increase or not endukante more production aithe malli every unit meda government ki tax raval kada so equa production aithe equa revenues avvali okay the greater responsiveness of tax revenues to gsdp is known as tax buoyancy okay if this happens government will get lot of money to finance is expenditure without taking any loans and without taking any loans and without being in debt without being in debt note one the tax buoyancy of excise is highest excise is 2.22 percent followed by stamps and registration and state owned tax revenue so whenever gdp increases automatically what will happen excise duty increases a lot and excise duty la vachina dabbulu chaala increase aitayi mara gdp gsdp 10 percent grow aithe excise duty 7 8 percent grow aipothadi anamata whereas stamps and registration may be 6 percent okay so when gsdp is growing at 10 percent which of the tax is what highly beyond and highly responsive to the gsdp and that is what that is we are having excise duty any matter this is all about what revenues and the chronological order my dear students even the budget low first component man the revenue under the carpet team and i'm revenue green team with them to the corner okay what is revenue how it is performing non-tax revenue tax revenue average per capita tax revenue increasing order decreasing order what is tax bonds and in each corner so in the other part of budget is uh, expenditure profile according to our economic survey expenditure for profile is capital expenditure on the other uh, on the other hand is usually non recurring in nature spread over a long term you might be aware of this fact revenue expenditures on time another gram and in the budget we also have what capital expenditure and you know it very well that revenue expenditure is recurring and short term capital expenditure is non recurring and it is for long term that is what it is also saying the same thing in the economic survey capital expenditure equa cheste asset creation aitadi capital assets create aitadi and uh, liabilities kuda takku aitayi anamata loan repayments kuda takku aitayi okay so capital assets okay are very very important for the growth of economy also so remember this point my dear students capital expenditure equa cheste asset creation aitadi ani cheptam manam asset creation aithe nothing but these are what capital asset creation aithe this is only called as what capital formation kuda antaru deeniki capital formation capital formation ekku aithe automatically employment increase aitadi automatically output kuda increase aitadi okay so right so this process you might have learned in your indian economy for sure what is the relationship between capital formation or capital asset and the employment and output right fine so some more thing about it this is not uh, this is capital expenditure my dear students i have explained you very properly only we, we were talking about capital expenditure now we are right only it is non recurring in nature it is also it is the capital expenditure feature a capital expenditure long term ki vesedi capital expenditure lead to what asset creation everything whatever i have told you it is clear and right only ikkada heading march and capital pettukondi ante you just put a capital here 
ఓకే దెన్ దిస్ క్యాపిటల్ కి ఇక్కడ రెవెన్యూ మార్చండి అంతే ఇట్ షుడ్ బి వాట్ రెవెన్యూ సో ద రెవెన్యూ ఎక్స్పెండిచర్ ఈజ్ వన్ విచ్ ఈస్ రికరింగ్ ఇన్ నేచర్ విచ్ ఈస్ రికరింగ్ ఇన్ నేచర్ ఓకే మళ్ళీ 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 రికరింగ్ అవుతుంది ప్లస్ రెవెన్యూ ఎక్స్పెండిచర్ ఈజ్ ఆల్వేస్ షార్ట్ టర్మ్ ఇన్ ఓకే నేచర్ షార్ట్ టర్మ్ ఓకే రికరింగ్ షార్ట్ టర్మ్ అండ్ డస్ నాట్ లీడ్ టు క్రియేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఎసెట్ డస్ నాట్ రిజల్ట్ ఇన్ వాట్ క్రియేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఎసెట్ వెర్ యాజ్ ఇన్ క్యాపిటల్ ఎక్స్పెండిచర్ ఇట్ లీడ్ టు వాట్ క్రియేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఎసెట్స్ ప్లీజ్ రిమెంబర్ దిస్ పాయింట్ సో రెవెన్యూ ఎక్స్పెండిచర్స్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్స్ ఆర్ పేమెంట్ ఆఫ్ సాలరీస్ టు ది గవర్నమెంట్ ఎంప్లాయీస్ వేజెస్ టు ది మనరేగా పర్సన్స్ పెన్షన్ టు ది రిటైర్డ్ పర్సన్ grants and operational expenditure with regard to maintenance of telephone bill of uh, all the government institutions electricity bill that is called as operational operational expenditure and expenditures on raitu bandhu because this is also recurring every 6 months we have to give and asra pension every month we have to give and uh, fee reimbursement is a long term expenditure but uh, asra pension scheme we have to give every month so these expenditures are called as what revenue expenditure because all these expenditure if you see we have to do again and again again and again every month cheyal ani mata higher allocation towards capital outlay has a multiplier effect okay this is a separate point idi ee point akkad raayali manam okay higher outlay eppudaina capital expenditure ki ekkuva double isthe automatically the economy will develop in a very 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 multiplication form like that they are saying right so we have learned about what is revenue expenditure what is capital expenditure also now revenue expenditure for 2021 to 2022 is around 169000 crores which is 73% of total expenditure ante telangana lo telangana government is doing more of revenue expenditure less of what capital expenditure so you can understand that less capital expenditure unte okay less creation of asset and multiplier effect and benefit of the capital expenditure we cannot get whereas revenue expenditure ekko ante asal andarki salaries ivadam okay andarki wages ivadam pensions ivadam benefits ivadam malli malli ivadam vallaki double isthunam vallu tinestunnaru kani aa double tho manam road construct cheyaledu aa double tho manam energy plant construct cheyaledu so revenue expenditure will not lead to increase in what any number of asset whereas capital expenditure will do that but uh, in telangana revenue expenditure is more than what capital expenditure this is a problem that we have to solve but this is how it is capital expenditure for the year 2021 to 2022 is put at 61000 crores so revenue expenditure 169000 capital expenditure 61000 even in revenue receipts and capital receipts lo kuda revenue receipts ekko unnai manam chadukunnam right or wrong yes you can see that revenue receipts 176000 whereas if you see the capital receipt only 45000 is there okay so whether it is receipts or expenditure revenue account is more than the capital um, current uh, capital account note 3 the budgeted the complete expenditure of the total telangana government for the financial year 2021 is 230000 crores it comprises both revenue expenditure and capital expenditure note 3 it is note 4 to ensure faster development of telangana government raised extra budgetary resources of around 1.14 lakh crore leading to a capital out capital expenditure of 2.28 lakh crore so basically what has happened here is okay uh, as because revenues takwa unnai kabatti government revenue expenditure ekkuva chesina tarvata malli infrastructure kuda develop cheddam ani okay ee 61000 ikkada undi kada a capital expenditure ee 61000 chaala takwa ani mata capital expenditure so government what they have done okay has raised off budget borrowings off budget borrowings ante budget lo mention cheyaledu budget aina tarvata okay bonds issue chesi government bonds issue chesi grants iskoni okay that they have piled up the number of um, the amount of money and they have done telangana has done up to 2.28 lakh crore of capital expenditure chesina mane mane vada complete in totality rule to raise but extra budgetary resources okay who will fix this uh, okay if a telangana government or karnataka government want to raise money want to raise money apart from their budget who they should take the permission okay it is given by the central government only okay so to incentivize higher levels of capital expenditure out of net borrowings ceiling of 4% of projected gsdp set for the states 2021 to 2022 ante telangana government ki gsdp enta undi okay aa gsdp lot 4% of the value of this gsdp 
we can raise from extra budget and off budget borrowings is coach any matter additional money in consumption 4.5 percent kuda you can raise up to 4.5 percent of total value of gdp you can raise okay uh, has been earmarked for incremental capital expenditure and a uh, flyover katina amalia flyover ki extend chesu namante inka koncham capital expenditures and a double borrow chase coach in matter to become eligible for this additional borrowing expenditure incurred should be at least 70 percent of targeted capital outlay okay so it means if you want to raise some money apart from the budget okay then it is okay you can raise okay additional borrowing of 0.50 percent but make sure that how much you are raising okay 70 percent of this should be utilized for what capital expenditure only okay then Another criteria is mentioned under the economic survey. Development expenditure means what? Non-developmental expenditure. Development expenditure is one where government do two types of expenditure in development expenditure. One is social service expenditure, economic service. Social service, you can know that government can construct education, schools, colleges. Okay, government can construct primary health care centers, okay, specialty hospitals, welfare programs like uh, um, ASRA pension scheme, okay, and housing schemes like 2BHK, etc. These are all, these all will develop an individual, develop a society, develop our roads, develop economy. So, that, that expenditure which actually uh, help the social sector to develop and the, that expenditure that help the economic services like agriculture ki Pradhan Mantri, this Raitu Bandhu scheme, forestry ki support share industry uh, open chedani ki ts i pass etc andlo andlo velina dabulu transportation okay creating what uh, uh, state highways create cheyali district roads create cheyali so these are all comes under economic services if you see all these important areas here all of these are what development and expenditure it means either they will develop the society or they will develop the economy non development expenditures are those expenditure which are generally comprising of general services means fiscal services every month they have to pay some interest uh, every month they have to pay some subsidies every month they have to um, pay for administrative services phone bill current bill okay petrol bill of the these are all comes under what developmental expenditure it means e expenditure low will in a w one rupee kuda will not be used for the development of either society could develop over the economy also is not developing the share of developmental expenditure is very good in our in our state that is 77.4 percent of expenditure we are giving uh, to the developmental purpose within the developmental expenditure more money is given to social services nothing but welfare of the people is considered more than the economic services this is also same with regard to india's average telangana development expenditure is more than india's average this is a further point telangana expenditure on social services is also more than india's so india's average expenditure on social services okay then now if you see if you see the interstate comparison telangana ranks second telangana ranks second with regard to average per capita development expenditure means the government is the telangana government on an average is spending 24,700 rupees on every one of us. And me, me, the 24,000 oka year lo government spending. Now, me, the government every year is spending what 24,700 rupees. In terms of in terms of average per capita, means per person, I know developed our daniki government of Telangana per person is minimum is doing the expenditure of 24,700. Goa is doing first rank and we are followed by second rank. Please remember this. Now, we have done with revenue receipts i find the manad revenue expenditure is also over and we have also seen what developmental expenditure all that we have seen now mana appulu gurinchi chusukundam okay deficit endu kaitadi when uh, expenditure is more than revenue or when revenue is less than expenditure ee rendu situations okate andi when this situation occurs then the situation is called as what deficit antaru if deficit account, as you know that fiscal deficit is bad, if the fiscal deficit increases more and more, the gap between the revenues and expenditure increases more and more, okay, it will lead to the collapse of the economy. That's why in order to check and keep a track of this uh, ex revenue and expenditure difference, Government of India has uh, uh, promulgated an act called as Fiscal Responsibility Budgetary Management Act of 2003. Then on the lines of this particular 
Act, the Telangana has got its own Fiscal Responsibility Budget Management Act 2005. According to Telangana FRBM Act, Telangana should not make the fiscal deficit more than 3% of the GSDP. So, whatever our GSDP is there, 3% of that value, okay, less than 3% of that value should be our deficit, not more than that. For a financial year 2021 to 2022, Government of India fixed fiscal deficit limit less than 40%. Okay, whereas Telangana, we have fixed our, okay, 3.94%. We are well within 4% of our limit set by the government of India. No need to worry about it. Okay, when we talk about fiscal deficit, why the what is the composition? Capital outlay accounted for biggest share of what gross fiscal deficit. Okay, means more expenditures, whatever we are doing, we are borrowing from extra budgetary resources and we are doing expenditure on what? More on what? Capital assets, me the equivalent chase kundanam, capital formation, me the. So, the maximum deficit that Telangana government is having because of what? Capital outlays only. Revenue deficit is only 18%. Revenue deficit is contributing only 18% in the deficit, fiscal deficit, whereas capital outlay is contributing around 75%, very huge one. Telangana posted a creditable 3% revenue surplus in the same period. Even in revenue, Account low, revenue receipts, revenue expenditure low, Telangana surplus kuda on the animata 3%. That's why coupled up to surplus kuda at 2017 2020, e 3 years low, revenue receipts government ki enta vachinai, revenue expenditure government ki e 3 years low enta vachinai, din lo choose kunte, manam revenue receipts are 3% more than what revenue expenditure, it means we are playing on surplus. So revenue expenditure and the manaji chara takwa on the animata, capital expenditure is too too huge. And because of this capital expenditure only, a fiscal deficit undi mana Telangana lo. Okay. Then remaining 27% of fiscal deficit. Okay. This is like almost 75 and this is like 18%. Okay. This is for the last year. This is for the three years. So, this is 75% only we will take. So, capital outlay. This is 2021 to 2020 to 2021 data. So, capital outlay is 75. So, rest we are having what? 27% of fiscal deficit. Adi point it is because of net lending. Net lending and Telangana government will also give loans to Odisha, will also give loans to NMDC, will also give loans to Singarini. Okay. And Telangana government will also take loans from, okay, various other banks, non-banking financial companies, gold bound, and the bonds could issue yes, some. So, Government is the Dikuda, government is Kunta Dikuda. So, when we see the government uh, um, the giving away loans and taking loans, when we see the difference between these two, that led okay, that is called as what net lending and taru. Net lending means how much you have given and how much you have borrowed. The difference between these two is called as net lending. It may also happen that you borrowed 100 rupees, you borrowed 100 rupees, okay, and but you gave loans of 200 rupees. And we have a benefit of 100 minus 200, we have plus 100 loans. So, we borrowed 100 rupees only, but loans are 200 rupees. So, we are plus. This is a good situation. But this will never happen in any state or any country. Generally, fiscal deficit is a very common process. You will see everywhere. Okay. If you have a lot of money, you will not have a fiscal deficit. That will not be there ever. Right. Total loans and advances of the Telangana government at this point of time is 8,699 crore. This 8,699 crore low equa loans, equa debt manam enduko, equa loans manam enduko this kunam, equa debt manam manam enduko namante because of loans for water supply and sanitation kosam chalat loans this kunam manam from various bank, banking institutions and borrowing ways. Followed by loan for housing purpose kuda manam ekwa this kuna 11.4. You can go through one by one. You will properly understand that government of Telangana lo whatever the loan debts on nai, a loan debts low maximum and almost like 40% of that debts is coming from what? Loans given to what? Loans taken for the purpose of college for the for the purpose of Madigadda barrages, etc. Irrigation system, inka sanitation. Okay, e rendu. Uh, manchiga cheyadani ki manam loans ekwa this kunam almost 41% of our debts are coming from this two 41 and 50 50% is coming from this two now 
ఫిజికల్ డెఫిసిట్ ఫైనాన్స్ చేయడానికి అంటే హౌ టు ఫైనాన్స్ సపోజ్ మీ ఇంట్లో ఎక్స్పెండిచర్స్ ఎక్కువ ఉన్నాయి అండ్ అందరిది వచ్చిన శాలరీ తక్కువ ఉంది అంటే వాట్ యుల్ డూ యుల్ టేక్ ఎ లోన్ ఆర్ యూ లాస్ యువర్ ఫ్రెండ్ రైట్ ఆర్ రాంగ్ ఇన్ ద సేమ్ వే ఇఫ్ ద గవర్నమెంట్ గెట్ షార్టేజ్ ఆఫ్ ఫండ్స్ వాళ్ళ దగ్గర రెవెన్యూ తక్కువ వచ్చినాయి కరోనా వచ్చింది ఆర్ ఏదైనా ఫ్లడ్స్ వచ్చినాయి సో కరోనా వచ్చిన వల్ల ఏమైంది లాక్డౌన్ అయిపోయింది దెన్ ద ప్రొడక్షన్ డి నాట్ హ్యాపెన్ మెన్ ప్రొడక్షన్ డి నాట్ హ్యాపెన్ ఎస్జిఎస్టీ లో డబ్బులు రావు ఓకే ఆర్ ఎల్స్ గవర్నమెంట్ సీయింగ్ ద సిచ్యువేషన్ ఆఫ్ మాల్ న్యూట్రిషన్ ఆఫ్ అవర్ ఆర్ చిల్డ్రన్స్ అండ్ ఎనిమి కండిషన్ ఆఫ్ ది ఉమెన్ గవర్నమెంట్ వాంటెడ్ టు గో ఫర్ వాట్ గవర్నమెంట్ వాంటెడ్ టు గో ఫర్ ఎస్టాబ్లిష్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ సపరేట్ ఉమెన్ హాస్పిటల్స్ ఎక్సెట్రా సో గవర్నమెంట్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ ఎనీ రీజన్ సపోజ్ కొంచెం ఎక్స్పెండిచర్ ఎక్కువ చేయాలనుకుంటుంది అనమాట కానీ ఎక్స్పెండిచర్ చేయడానికి డబ్బులు లేవు దెన్ వేర్ వేర్ ఇట్ హ్యాస్ టు బారో సో గవర్నమెంట్ కెన్ బారో ఫ్రమ్ ఆల్ దీస్ వాట్ ఎవర్ ఐ హ్యావ్ రిటర్న్ ఇయర్ గవర్నమెంట్ కెన్ బారో డైరెక్ట్లీ ఫ్రమ్ మార్కెట్ బై ఇష్యూయింగ్ బాండ్స్ Okay, government can ask the center to give loans. Government can raise money from the public accounts like uh, insurance accounts and uh, provident fund accounts, pension accounts. National Small Savings Fund, which is there with the post office that they can use. Reserve funds of the government that they can use. Deposits of the government that they can use. Suspense and miscellaneous, if there is any other these are that also government can use. Remittances, the our... relatives or our friends working in other countries and sending money here that is called a remittances okay so the fiscal deficit is financed by all these important ways my dear students please remember this okay for 2017 to 2020 again for 3 years data market borrowings were predominant source of financing for telangana market ante ivanni fiscal deficit lo fiscal borrowing lo fiscal deficit is financed by అంటే అన్ని బారోయింగ్స్ లో గవర్నమెంట్ మార్కెట్ బారోయింగ్ ఎక్కువ చేసుకుంటుంది మీన్స్ లోన్స్ ఇచ్చి ఓకే సారీ బాండ్స్ ఇచ్చి డబ్బులు తీసుకుంటుంది అనమాట గవర్నమెంట్ మార్కెట్ బారోయింగ్స్ ఆర్ ది హైయెస్ట్ మార్కెట్ బారోయింగ్స్ ఆఫ్ తెలంగాణ ఆర్ ఎయిటీ టూ పాయింట్ టూ నైన్ వెరీ 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 డిఫరెంట్ బిట్వీన్ సిక్స్టీ ఫైవ్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా అండ్ అవర్స్ ఎయిటీ టూ పబ్లిక్ అకౌంట్స్ నుంచి మనం రేస్ చేస్తున్నాం ఎయిటీన్ పర్సెంట్ దిస్ ఇస్ ద సెకండ్ హైయెస్ట్ లోన్స్ ఫ్రమ్ సెంటర్ లాస్ట్ టైం వాళ్ళు అడిగితే చాలా ఇచ్చారు కానీ ఇన్ ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ టూ టు ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ వన్ ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ టూ ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ వన్ ఈ ఇయర్ లో మనం లోన్స్ అడితే కూడా లాస్ట్ టైం కంటే తక్కువ ఇచ్చారు దట్స్ వై ఇట్ కేమ్ ఇన్ వాట్ మైనస్ రైట్ నా డెట్ సస్టైనబిలిటీ డెట్ సస్టైనబిలిటీ ట్రాక్ ట్రాక్ త్రూ టూ కీ పారామీటర్స్ అండి వన్ ఇస్ టోటల్ అవుట్ స్టాండింగ్ లైబిలిటీస్ టు జిడిపి మీన్స్ హౌ మచ్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు పే how much amount we have to pay and that amount is what percent of gdp okay and interest payments to the revenue receipts whatever the revenue receipts we are getting tax revenues and non tax revenues in the total revenue how much percentage we have to pay in interest how much uh, money that we have to pay in interest so these two are the indicators that will tell us that whether uh, we can sustain our debt or not whether we can sustain our debt or not okay Fine. One second. Right. Fine. Then again, 2017 to 20, total outstanding liabilities to GSDP ratio is stated 23.33%. So first indicator is how much debt we are there? 22.33% total outstanding liabilities. it is less than india's average did we did good then with regard to interest payments we stood at 12.88% again it is less than india's average and the debt sustainability manak manaku manchiga undi when compared to what all india average so in 2019 to 20 this uh, outstanding liabilities are 23% of gdp okay then you can see here uh, this outstanding liabilities decreased india is how much what 28% when we see the interest payments uh, of telangana 14.6% in this year okay india's interest payments is minus 14 this is what sorry only 14 only 14 so outstanding liabilities interest payment two indicators are there no the data is of 2019 2019 economic survey lo e year ke mention chesaru 2020 to 2021 mention cheyaledu okay they have mentioned for 2019 and 2019 only for both of them so మన అవుట్స్టాండింగ్ లైబిలిటీస్ ట్వంటీ త్రీ పర్సెంట్ ఉన్నాయి వెరాస్ ఇండియాది ట్వంటీ ఎయిట్ పాయింట్ సో మనం ఇండియాస్ యావరేజ్ కంటే మంచిగా పర్ఫామ్ చేస్తున్నాం తెలంగాణ ఇంట్రెస్ట్ పేమెంట్ ఈస్ ఫోర్టీన్ పాయింట్ సిక్స్ పర్సెంట్ అండ్ ఇండియాస్ ఇంట్రెస్ట్ పేమెంట్ ఈస్ ఫోర్టీన్ పర్సెంట్ సో ఇన్ దిస్ వీఆర్ యాక్చువల్లీ లిటిల్ బెట్ డెఫిషియంట్ 
okay we are not doing get better with regard to interest payments telangana rank number 1 in terms of least debt to gsdp ratio followed by second rank is chatisgarh and maharashtra very very important point for the examination okay note to rbi has released a working paper okay titled uh, fiscal performance and yield spreads on market borrowings in india according to this particular report title of the rbi they have praised india uh, they have praised uh, telangana a lot and according to this particular uh, report of the rbi shows that better fiscal telangana is managing the fiscal and market performance of telangana is very very good okay so telangana is the only state which is borrowing the loans at lower cost because their ratings are very very good state performance composite index has been launched by the niti aayog which is composed of fiscal debt and market indicators of a particular state it examines the relationship between the index and the yield spreads varies on the state credit and liquidity remember this point spread ante spread means okay it examines the relation between the index yield and spread if a bond is issued by telangana government telangana government is offering 6% okay if nobody is taking we will offer little bit 1% more if nobody is taking even though we will offer plus 2% this is called as what spread and a base interest rate we are offering 6 if people are not taking we are increasing is this part is called as what spread okay and people will not take when they think that government will not pay them on time right or wrong already meeku telusu government work lo chaala prolong aitadi vaalla degara double undavani mata so ala government degara double levu double ledu ala manaku vintu unte if government gives as a tender to construct a t hub lekapothe oka manchi high tech city laga pedda pedda buildings kattandi ani manaku alanti chepte manam kadtama kattam endukante already manaku telusu telangana government degara double ekwa ledu they are working they are they are um, surviving on borrowings ani mata so vallaki important em untai dannu expenditure cheskuntaru manam velli 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 adagalsi vastundi sir naaku double emandi sir check pass cheyandi sir check pass cheyandi cheyaru so with that what happens is the credit the credibility of the government will lose and people will not find any interest to invest in what government thing only kani telangana okay is doing very very well ani telangana bonds issue chese ila ila teesukuntunnaru jilabi laga maaku kavali maaku kavali ani teesukuntunnaru that's why telangana is the only state which is borrowing the loans at lower cost of borrowings we are doing okay so credit risk ante government lo manam double invest chese mana double ki risk unda leda ani అంటే వాళ్ళు మళ్ళీ వీ విల్ గెట్ రిటర్న్ ఆర్ వీ విల్ నాట్ గెట్ దట్ ఇస్ కాల్ ఎస్ వాట్ క్రెడిట్ రిస్క్ ఓకే ఆర్బీఐ ఎఫిషియేటెడ్ తెలంగాణ ఫిజికల్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ ఇన్ త్రీ వేస్ యూ కెన్ సీ హియర్ ఆర్బీఐ తెలంగాణకి మంచిగా ప్రేస్ చేసింది అనమాట కంపేర్ టు అదర్ స్టేట్ ఆర్బీఐ టోల్ దట్ తెలంగాణ కుడ్ బారో ఎట్ లోవెస్ట్ రేట్స్ ఓకే థర్టీ టు ఫార్టీ అంటే జీరో పాయింట్ త్రీ టు జీరో పాయింట్ ఫోర్ పర్సెంట్ ఓకే బేసికల్లీ ఇన్ అవర్ ఎకనామీ హండ్రెడ్ అండ్ హండ్రెడ్ బేసిస్ పాయింట్స్ అంటారు హండ్రెడ్ బేసిస్ పాయింట్స్ అంటే ఓకే వెన్ ఎవర్ యూ కమ్ అక్రాస్ ది బేసిస్ పాయింట్ హండ్రెడ్ అంటే వన్ పర్సెంట్ అనమాట హండ్రెడ్ అంటే వన్ పర్సెంట్ సో తెలంగాణ ఈజ్ థర్టీ టు ఫార్టీ బేసిస్ పాయింట్ అంటే జీరో పాయింట్ త్రీ అనమాట సో తెలంగాణ ఈజ్ ఏబుల్ టు బారో లోన్స్ ఎట్ జీరో పాయింట్ త్రీ పర్సెంట్ లెస్ ఇంట్రెస్ట్ రేట్ వెన్ కంపేర్ టు అదర్ స్టేట్స్ ఓకే తెలంగాణ ఇష్యూడ్ ద లాంగెస్ట్ టెన్ యూర్ సెక్యూరిటీ ఆఫ్ థర్టీ ఇయర్స్ మెచ్యూరిటీ which indicate the good performance in the management of authority and the people are ready to invest even for 30 years in telangana government ani mata idi ekkar the anta longest security of tenure ever konar anta okay kani telangana ichindi kabatti kontunar anta endukante telangana is very strong in fiscal management ani andarki telusu in from 2014 nunchi 2018 to 19 if you see the lowest debt to gsdp ratio among india is of telangana so telangana has been praised by rbi in all of these uh, important parameters now what is the meaning of committed expenditure committed expenditure means that expenditure where the government cannot escape they have to do the expenditure for sure ante salaries elagena government employees ki ivalsinde right wages should be given to those working in manarega pension should be given to those people who are retired an interest payment should be given to those from whom you have taken the loans can this be be decreased in no case this cannot be decreased otherwise how this salary employees government employee should live this is called as committed expenditure 
higher allocation towards committed expenditure leads to a reduced fiscal space for other development expenditure if government does more expenditure in this then government will have very less money left out for doing other expenditure right or wrong in 2020 to 2021 the, our telangana's committed expenditure is 30 35.8% of uh, its total G, uh, revenues okay total revenues low 38 35.8% is committed expenditure and it is ex it is expected to increase even 50000 crores in 2019 and 63000 crores in 2021 to 2022 if enduku increase aitundi ante because government of telangana has appointed when it we got a state formation no government of telangana has appointed a, a revised pay scale chairman or committee has been appointed revised pay scales so college tables ki home guard ki w will look per because of this uh, because of this revised pay scale um, uh, suggestions given by the committee more committed expenditures uh, may happen in what telangana salaries and wages and imata comparison of uh, committed expenditures as percentage of revenue received madhya pradesh is giving what madhya pradesh committed expenditure out of its total revenue receipts is 37 percent telangana ranked 10th 48.7 percent this is least least committed expenditure in madhya pradesh we are ranking 10th all india average is 45 so we are doing better than the all india average but uh not we are doing not better than all india average because all india average committed expenditure is only 48.6 is ours is how much 48.7 so with regard to committed expenditure telangana government is doing more committed expenditures okay when compared to other states and the state which is doing less committed expenditure is what madhya pradesh ranking number one it means madhya pradesh the grad chara double mingle tai to do what uh like electricity water supply ki value develop shedani ki double untai any man then resource mobilization ekka ekka nonchi managu uh finance inka double was any mata to the government okay so if the committed expenditure is increasing committed expenditure irani increase aite 100 crores low 36 crores are going for only salaries wages so we are left with only what 64 crores are left with us e 64 crores low capital expenditure metro expansion flyovers evadam ivanni koncham drawback low koncham lag aitadi so idi lag avakunda chusukodaniki we have to definitely raise more financial resources manam elagena raise cheyali adi raise etla chestunnam ante the cabinet committee is on subcommittee on resource mobilization led by our honorable finance minister harish rao aina em chesinante okay the, he has revised the market value of lands and registration charges with that what happened chala double government ki ekko vachina ani mata you can see here in the graph okay telangana graph you see here stamp duty and registration 2019 20 low so you are getting this many 577 crores heavy can he even a harish rao garu uh he land uh registration and stand duty ki koncha penchi te emaindante 2020 2021 so we have increased our revenue to one lakh one thousand two sixty two and a double that what we are used what we get in the uh, we were getting in the 2019 and the two years loan a manam double chesish namana resources it means what Committed expenditure equity the kuda manam where the ganunchi double raise chase kunta namani mata by devising the okay stamp duty registration fees. It is a very good move, very tactical move by the government of Telangana. Okay. In this regard, okay, the government has constituted the first pay revision, that is a GK point, under the chairmanship of C R Biswal. Okay, C R Biswal committee is the first pay revision committee of our Telangana state. After formation, this is the first committee. And I know I am an arrange constable ki teacher ki pinch the money and naru salaries. Ala pinch the money then the money then the committee expenditure equity for the. If committee expenditure equity for the, mainly middle and double to, manam equity development chale. In middle and double to equity development chale, then the what we can do best, we can raise more money that we have already done by raising the fees of water registration stamp duties. Levy of special excise says also we have, okay, we have uh, imposed. Okay, so some more money we are uh, trying to raise from the market. So we have uh, special excise says has been levied on what foreign made liquor and foreign brands. Okay, so with that what happened? Government has seen what significant increase in revenue. So committed expenditure equity they could have where the ganunchi manam double raise chase koni developmental activities ki we are not stopping, we are continuing. 
we are continuing this is all about third in third chapter of telangana economic survey if you are having any doubts please do ask to me i will be more happy to help you out thanks a lot for hearing to me and do share with your friends and be stuck to the telangana economic survey don't uh, what try to take it casually lot of questions will come definitely if, if you see i am expecting that you know the concepts that's why okay i am just going through the data and explaining you the data okay if you don't know the concept you just mug up and butify that is more than enough but if you know the concept this all this all things whatever written in the slides are crystal clear to that particular student okay right and have a good day take lot of water bye bye have a nice